I got a UFO story. It took place right here. I come out this gate after supper sometimes, drink a little coffee, fiddle with my plants, and then smoke a cigarette. Because I live near four airports, I'm always looking up at the sky. To illustrate this, I made some graphics, so you'll have to pardon my amateur work. But what happened one night when I came out here to piddle around, I looked up at the sky and I looked toward the north and I saw two little red dots. I thought that was odd, because I see commercial aircraft and private aircraft and Coast Guard and everything else all around all the time. It didn't look like that. And as I watched, they buzzed as fast as I could imagine right up over my head. And then they stopped. You know how, you know how like uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars, you know, they come bursting out of nothing and they go, boom, stop. That's what it did. And I stood there and watched and they stood stationary for a moment and then they split. And then they did some kind of a little spiral circle dance thing. And then they came back together. And then they only stood by each other, maybe a few couple seconds, three, four seconds, and then they took off in that direction. They kind of went two different directions. People have said, oh, you mistook it for an airplane. Well, as nearly as I can tell, I can see some 20 miles off. And the distance, in that distance, in the time frame, I estimated the speed was over 7,000 miles an hour. And they said, well, you confused the lights with an airplane. Well, these are two circles, the diameter, of the full moon side by side. And that's what I saw. But I really don't believe in E.T. and I don't believe in little gray men and flying saucers. So what do I believe in? Well, being a Christian and a Bible student, I know that the Bible talks about interdimensional creatures, not extraterrestrials talks about fallen angels and angels visiting and so on and so forth. also talks about a big war in heaven. And what happens is that sometimes all those activities spill out into our dimension. And trying to explain creatures that live in eight and ten dimensions to those of us that live in, you know, this little box of three dimensions plus time is almost impossible. So it's written in rather peculiar metaphorical terms. But that's what I believe they are, intrusions from a heavenly dimension into our dimension. Well, that may seem like craziness to you, but I actually wrote it up in a little booklet here called Bible Studies Enigma Volume 3. You can find it on Amazon with my name, John Brown. So that's what I think they are, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, uh, by the way, I've got angel stories, too. That one one time. But that's another story for another video. Get you next time.